Hey guys, what's going on? Chris Seinog here, founder of The New Rules of Marksmanship. And in this video, I wanna teach you how to use the Captains of Crush grippers to help improve your grip strength. Now let's go ahead and get started. Joining me now is retired Navy SEAL sniper, Chris Seinog. All right, so why is it important, first off, to even improve your grip strength? Well, when it comes to shooting, pistols especially, a lot of people will tell you the grip is the king of consistency. And here's why. If you were able to put your pistol in a vice grip and crank it all the way down, you could do anything you want to that trigger and the bullets are all gonna go through the same hole. So that's what we wanna do for your grip strength so you can do the same thing when you're shooting a pistol. So to improve your grip strength, one of the best tools I've found is the Captains of Crush Gripper. And these are very well made. They're not like the cheap grippers that uh, I grew up with and saw as a kid. These are very good and they will last and that's why I highly recommend you use these. But one thing I do recommend doing before you start using the gripper and this is each and every time, is to warm up the muscles in your hands. For that, I use the Iron Mind Green Egg. I just sit and squeeze this, and usually my knuckles will crack and make lots of noises. I'll start to feel them get warmed up, and I'll probably do this for a couple minutes. The other thing that I use this green egg for is for working on my trigger finger strength. And also, a lot of people I know have problems like hitting their magazine release button. So you can actually practice working on the strength of your thumb so you can drop that mag a lot easier and a lot faster. And then it's time to move on to the grippers. Now, the grippers come in 11 different strengths. So I have this one here that I use just for warming up. And then this is a number one. And the number one is usually what I train with. And if you are an adult male, this would probably be the one that I would recommend for you to start off with. So what I do with mine is I keep all of this in my car because there's lots of times that I'm just stuck in traffic or on a long road trip and I drive into the office every day and that's a great opportunity for one of my hands to obviously be on the wheel and the other one to be getting some grip strength exercise in. So after I warm up for a little bit, I usually will do 10 grips in one hand, 10 grips in the other, and then I'll do grip and hold in both hands. To do the grip, you want to make sure that your fingers are in the right place. Your pinky should be right about at the bottom of the gripper. You don't want it up this high because that would not allow you to get the leverage you need. And even though the pinky you know, poor little guy doesn't do too much work. We don't want him hanging off because we do want him to help out as much as he thinks he can. That is how you do it. So again, I will do 10 closes in one hand and then I will switch, do 10 closes in the other hand. And then I will do a grip and hold where I squeeze it closed and then I just count to 10 with the gripper closed like that. I don't think it's too important that you stick to that routine. You can definitely come up with your own. Maybe you could put them at your house and when you're watching TV, use them there. So one last bonus tip that I wanna throw out there for you is it's very important to use any grip strength exercise or in the position that you're going to need to use that. So what do I mean? Well, when you shoot a pistol, your arm is gonna be out. You wanna exercise your muscles with your arm out like that. So when you're doing this, make sure that your arm is straight out. And you can also do that with your wrist. So anyways, that's all I have for you today. Until next time, keep paving your path to perfection. Hey guys, if you like this video and you wanna learn more, I put together 20 videos with the best training advice I've learned over the past 25 years of training others. And I wanna give those to you absolutely free. Just click on the I card that just popped up or go to chrissynog.com forward slash free videos. And I'll not only send you those 20 free videos, I'll also send you a free PDF copy of my new rules of marksmanship manifesto, which is the framework for everything I teach. So here's what I want you to do right now. Click on the iCard or go to chrissynog.com forward slash free videos and I'll see you on the other side.